Green hydrogen is hydrogen that's been produced exclusively from renewable power. If we are serious about decarbonization, if we are serious about going into a world which has zero carbon emission, there is no choice but using hydrogen. Who would have thought there could be a way to save both the climate and the environment? Just recently, scientists from South Korea and Sweden have come up with a new hydrogen breakthrough that has completely shocked American scientists who didn't think such technology was possible. If widely accepted, the new hydrogen technology just might finally rid planet Earth of air pollution and reduce the outrageous depletion of the ozone layer caused by the greenhouse gases released during the formation of grey hydrogen. The best part? This new hydrogen is the most cost-effective scientists have ever produced. What is this new hydrogen and why are scientists getting in on the trend? Join us as we reveal the new hydrogen breakthrough that has gotten America talking. The Green Hydrogen A new technology has been invented that makes it possible to produce green hydrogen in a way that is cheaper and better for the environment. This is a life-changing step towards creating a world where we don't rely on carbon, which is constantly harming our planet. The old method of making green hydrogen was very expensive and released harmful, rare metals. But this new technology has found a way around that. With the new technology, we can make green hydrogen more widely available and be closer to a cleaner future. But why does this seem to be an answer to saving our environment? The thing is, green hydrogen is the upgrade from the current, most common form of hydrogen production called grey hydrogen. So scientists are constantly finding ways to improve green hydrogen. There are different ways to make hydrogen, and some methods are cleaner than others. Grey hydrogen is made from natural gas, which is mostly methane, using a process called steam methane reformation. But this process releases greenhouse gases into the air, contributing to climate change. On the other hand, green hydrogen is made by using electricity from renewable sources like solar or wind power to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This method is much cleaner and doesn't release harmful gases. A team of researchers from two universities, led by South Korean professors Junki Ryu and Dong Hua Seo, first made the breakthrough in producing green hydrogen. They've created a special catalyst that helps split water into hydrogen and oxygen more efficiently and stably, resulting in high-purity green hydrogen. This catalyst is also bifunctional, meaning it can perform two tasks at once, making the process even more effective. By using water electrolysis, we can produce hydrogen without releasing any carbon emissions. This is why this new technology is our best bet for a cleaner environment. The research team was on a mission to find cheaper and more environmentally friendly alternatives to expensive metals like platinum and iridium, which are often used to speed up chemical reactions in harsh acidic environments. They were looking for something that could do the job just as well, but without the hefty price tag and harmful impact on the planet. That's when they turned their attention to ruthenium, a metal that's not only more affordable to produce, but also releases much fewer greenhouse gases than platinum and iridium. Ruthenium seemed like a promising solution, but it had its own problems. While it's a more eco-friendly option, it wasn't as good at speeding up chemical reactions as platinum, and it wasn't as stable as iridium. This made it harder to use ruthenium in real-world applications, despite its potential. The research team wanted to find a way to overcome these limitations and make ruthenium a viable alternative to precious metals. To get around the problems with using ruthenium, the research team created a new catalyst that combines ruthenium with silicon and tungsten. By tweaking the ruthenium catalyst, they showed that it could be used for both reactions, making it a versatile tool. The new catalyst has a special structure with tungsten and silicon surrounding a ruthenium atom, which helps it work better. The team then made the catalyst more effective by increasing the attraction between protons and the catalyst's surface. This makes it better 
at speeding up chemical reactions than even the best platinum catalysts available today. They also added a thin layer of tungsten, just 5 to 10 nanometers thick, to protect the ruthenium and make it more stable. This means the catalyst can keep working well over time without breaking down. That's not all. Testing the new catalyst. The research team put their new catalyst to the test to see how well it would hold up over time. They created a tough, barely survivable environment using a strong acid and passing a small electric current through the catalyst for over 100 hours. The catalyst performed consistently well throughout the entire test, showing that it's reliable and durable. The catalyst's ability to work well even in harsh acidic conditions makes it absolutely perfect for use in systems that produce high purity green hydrogen, like PEM electrolyzers. Scientists in Sweden have also come up with a new way to produce hydrogen energy that's safer and more efficient. Normally, when you split water into oxygen and hydrogen using electricity, the two gases mix, which can be dangerous, but the new method developed at KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm avoids this problem by separating the process into two steps. Instead of splitting the water molecule into oxygen and hydrogen at the same time, the new method does it in a way that keeps the two gases separate from the start. This is an obvious improvement over the usual way of producing hydrogen gas, which uses a process called electrolysis. The new method of producing hydrogen energy is much safer because it keeps the oxygen and hydrogen gases separate, eliminating the risk of them mixing and causing explosions. This is a breakthrough, according to Esteban Toledo, a PhD student at KTH who helped develop the new method. He and his colleague, Professor Joy Deep Duta, have patented the system and are working with a company called Kaplizer AB to bring it to market. One of the key benefits of the new method is that it doesn't require rare earth metals, which are expensive and actually very hard to find. The researchers have tested the new method extensively and are thrilled with the results. They found that it produces hydrogen gas with an efficiency of 99%, which is extremely high. They also ran long-term tests to see how well the system held up and were pleased to find that the electrodes showed no signs of degradation. This is important because it means the system can be used commercially without worrying about it breaking down over time. When we produce hydrogen from water, oxygen is always a byproduct. In a typical setup, two electrodes are submerged in alkaline water, separated by a special barrier that allows ions to pass through. When electricity is applied, water is split into hydrogen and oxygen at the electrodes, but the barrier can cause resistance, and if the electric charge fluctuates, there's a risk of oxygen and hydrogen mixing and causing an explosion. Esteban Toledo and his team have rethought this process to make it safer and more reliable, especially when paired with renewable energy sources like solar or wind power, which can produce variable amounts of electricity. By redesigning the electrodes, They've eliminated the risk of gas mixing and can operate safely over a wider range of power inputs. The main takeaway of their design is replacing one electrode with a special supercapacitive electrode made from carbon. This electrode stores and releases ions, allowing hydrogen and oxygen to be produced separately. When the electrode is negatively charged, it produces hydrogen and stores energy-rich hydroxide ions. When the current is reversed, the electrode releases the stored ions and produces oxygen. This process is similar to a rechargeable battery where the electrode alternately charges and discharges to produce hydrogen and oxygen. Do you think mankind is ready to risk it with the new hydrogen breakthrough? We would love to know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your family and friends, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next updates. Also, click the next video on your screen to enjoy more exciting content.